Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 17 of um, Project Architect. And I am recording this about 15 minutes after the last episode. I I know I said I was going to do a whole set of stuff in between the episodes and then guess what? I got sidetracked. So um, as I was looking over the st stuff I needed to do, um, I think I meant, no, I don't think I mentioned it. Um, JM3 mentioned, was saying, oh, because he's playing the pack, but he's not recording it, I don't think. And he mentioned, oh, you know, with the RF Tools Builder, you can make a, a world full of, I uh, full of um, emeralds and then you bo blocks of emeralds and then you can mine it. And I thought, oh, that's brilliant. So I was going to incorporate that into um, an episode, you know, maybe not this episode, but maybe the next episode. And um, I was like, OK, yeah, that's fine. And then I'm looking, I was looking at the stuff coming in from the quarry. Because it does, um, if you remember in the last episode, um, I had a problem with, well, this is finished now. But remember, everything was just piling up and I couldn't work out, well, okay, is it taking it out? What is it doing? It's like it would, it was going through slowly, not slowly, it was going through quite quickly through one slot. But then after a while, it would just start clearing rows. So I don't know what the logic behind that was. So I'm looking at that and I'm looking at the Draconic Ore. And I think I had like 56 or something. 59. Yeah. Right. And I thought, OK, well, we've got that. And then it suddenly occurred to me, well, why not try and make a world full of Draconic Ore and see if we can do that? So, um, yeah, I went and had a quick um, practice session with the with the destruction gadget because somebody else I can't remember who it might be Brad Coffey but I'm not 100% on that um, mentioned you know you can clear out um, places with the destruction gadget be careful it voids the blocks that you um that it targets but you can use it and also if you make a mistake you can undo the mistake I found that out so Went and had a bit of a practice and I've decided I want to make a room for the RF tool stuff. So I'm thinking I want to put it here above the mine. I think I'm going to put it here on this ridge. No, should I bring it down? No, put it up. All right. So to get this overlay, you will be standing for this. And you is shift R no shift right click there you go shift right click then you can tell it what you want it to do so let you got left right up and down which I just found totally confusing but if you want for example a six by six by six box you would bring it uh, set the left to five Set up to five and the depth to six, and it will give you six by six by six. I don't know. And then to keep those um, settings, you click confirm. Then you can, you, as you can see, um, you have you press G to get the overlay menu, as with all of um, the building, all the gadgets in the building gadgets range, and you have to hold down G to get to see the the GUI. So you can have show overlay, fluid mode only, ray trace fluid. I have no idea what that means, but it doesn't apply to me, so I don't know. Anchor. That must be to anchor it to one spot, I'm assuming. And undo. So that's where you find your undo button. And you can you can stay from pretty far away, as you can see. I'm not sure how far back. Wow, that is a distance. So, yeah, I guess if you wanted to, you could fly and go down to bedrock or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, so I want to put it here. You make sure it's highlighted. You right click and it makes a room. And that's it. That That is literally it. 
So, um, yeah, the hardest part was trying to work out the dimensions. But once I kind of worked out what the up and down, I guess the left, I guess the right would offset it. I'm not entirely sure, but not the right, sorry, the left, the other one that we didn't use. But, you know, that's that. So that's going to be our Dimlitz room. So I was watching a very basic tutorial. I mean, they were saying they could, it's from about six months ago, maybe. They were saying that they couldn't find anything online and they wanted to find, they wanted to make a tutorial on how to do um, the RF, a guide to the RF uh, dimension, dimension builder. You do have the, um, the, the, the manual, which is very easy to make, very cheap. Um, let's have a look at RF. It's called the technology guide and so everything that's in within the RF tools base technology it's it will show a, a, a guide to that so um, yeah so I went in technology guide so you've got RS tools base the builder the dimensions utility XNet and the entry index so yeah, it says XNet, Deep Resonance, and probably beyond. So, you know, quite a few, quite a few, um, I think the, basically the mods from Merc JTY. I don't know if I'm, if I'm, um, pronouncing that correctly or saying it correctly, but they're mods, basically. So, RS, RF Tools Dimensions. We've got Creating Dimlets, and we have Creating Dimensions. Also, um, the video that I watched, they were saying to have the uh, matter receiver, matter booster, a dialing device, and the smart wrench. So let's make those things first. Um, right. I was going to bookmark them, and then I forgot. So we have the matter beamer, matter transmitter, matter receiver, matter booster. What does the beamer do? Of course, that doesn't really help. Let's make it anyway. Shove it in and then make it. And we've also crossed 10 million RF. RF? 10 billion, 10 billion EMC. Matter transmitter. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Why do I have? Why do I have skeleton? Oh, because I went down into the mine and stuff. Uh, did I do the matter receiver? Nope. No, that's not what I want. I want the receiver. And the matter booster. And also, is there, a, there's an inscriber? Nope. Okay. Um, did we do the smart wrench? I think we did. No, we didn't. Smart wrench, smart wrench select or smart. I'm doing this one cause it's EMC able. Okay, um, right. And then if, let me move this off my, off my hotbar. I don't want to hit it by accident. Okay, next thing. Looking this, uh, dimension. So we want the dim, the dimlet workbench, the knowledge holder, and the researcher. Right. Dimlet workbench empty dimension there you go and that's what we need what we're missing empty dimlets oh are you not amc -able? 
Ooh, okay. Okay, this is where all the fun starts. All right, so we've got that. Um, what else? I was looking. In the, I'm looking at my notes, and I realised I should have been looking in this dimlet workbench. Did we do? No, we just did that, didn't we? Or did we not? Dimension editor would we'll need that. Oh, I did make the dimlet workbench, but it's not EMCable. Okay. Um, dimension editor. Let's drop the torches because we don't need those. Uh, knowledge holder. That is also not all right. I think. Do we have? Hold on. Do we get blank dimlets from these things? No. None of them seem to be blank. Yeah, they've all got stuff on them. Okay. All right, blank dimlets. We're going. That might be a good pattern to make, actually. Um, that, no. Am I missing something? Blank. B L A N. Oh, it's not. All right, the bank. Blank dimlet is that uh, exact? I'm guessing yes. Not processing. Create. And of course, we need to make a crafter. All right, let's make a crafter then. Should we make an iron one? Let's make a crafter first of all before we start making anything else. All right, that's that. Can an uh, that is EMCable, which is brilliant. Well, in that case, we might just make all of them. Oh, what was what was that? Neural processor. Okay. Okay. Um. Right, what are we making? Crafter. Gold we couldn't make, but now we can. Diamond we can make. And netherite we can make. And how the crafters work is that, because this is um, an add-on, extra storage, which I didn't re oh I didn't realize that was in it. We could have just made one super huge disc, but anyway, never mind. Um, yeah, they hold more than the bog standard refined storage crafter. So each tier: iron, gold, diamond, netherite. They hold more and they go faster. So the netherite I think goes like like twenty five times faster than the base level right so that's what they do i think we can just take an iron crafter and what are we doing where, where was i gonna put that what am i making oh yes so if we take i'm just trying to think how do i want to set this up If I set up a workbench here and put the crafter into it, crafting table. I've just realized I haven't been recording, so I have no idea 
how much footage I lost. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I won't know until, until I start editing, I guess. Um, basically, now depending on what I've lost, quick recap, I made all the RF tool stuff. It's up here. And oh, that's not working yet. Um, and I made a network receiver and a transmitter. I discovered that you need to put down, oh, it's cause it's not down, but every, um, network, new network I connect to, I need to put down a receiver. Actually, no. Yeah, it has to be because this can only take one network card. So you have to put down one transmitter for every receiver, which is fine because, um, and I think, I think, um, that the power cell that was under here i think that was bottlenecking the system so when we put something new on it and it was too much for it to handle it would you know all the all the the power would get sucked out of it and then that was it so i was just checking that and um i went down to a fly to try and work out what was going on and then i realized i was trying to work out so how do you add something to your favorites on the on the morph menu Morph menu, morph mod. And I discovered what you need to do is you bring up your menu, all right? You scroll to what you want. So for example, the bats. And then once it's highlighted, you press the tilde key, the one that's next to your, the one on your keyboard. Or um, actually it's not even, I'm not sure if it's called a tilde. I know it's also called a back, a back tick. Cause it's like, it's like a backwards apostrophe kind of thing but you press that and that will give it a little star that makes it a favorite and if you um hit it again it unfavorites it so then if i come out of that and i hit the same button the back tick it now gives me favorites so um yeah i went down to a fly to kind of work that out and for whatever reason, I think I glanced across to see just how much how much time I'd spent trying to work out why this wasn't working and then I realized somehow I'd actually pause the recording not sure how it must be a key bind that I did and I've totally forgotten I, I don't know so yeah that's what I was just testing out I know we didn't put down the network card So yeah, I was rambling to myself for no particular reason. At least I found that out midway through the recording and not right at the very end, because that would make me cry. <laughs> that would definitely make me cry. So yeah, um, pattern, no network cards. Yeah, there we go. Can you like stop that? Thank you. Yes, yeah, so that's fine now. That's working. And then if I put the crafter back on. Um, crafter. And we used another right crafter. Actually, let's put this down there and we put the netherite crafter next on top of it and we can use the wrench to make it work. Okay, yes, that's cool. Yeah, I'm showing you craftables. Yeah, 
Did it show any craftables, right? Oh, because I haven't put it in. Uh, pattern. Where's the pattern? Yeah, I just got a huge lag spike and I've forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's what the problem was. It was that the power cell, the energy cell that we had under there. And this is out of power. Oh, because that's dead. Okay, well, we can take this down as well. Because it's not being used. It's fine. Ah, right. Um, we can put back the receiver. So yeah, quick rundown. Ran out of power. Or oh, had a bottleneck. And now I've worked it out. Alright, so I was trying to see if I could see what we can do with this. Dimlet workbench. Should I put these into the wall? I don't know. Does this need power? It needs one knowledge holder setting adjacent to it. All right, let's move you against the wall until I work out. Turn off the magnet, because that's getting annoying right now. Uh, Dimlet workbench. But we do have plug. I might put the plug, oh, I don't know. That's, that is um beside the point. All right. A dimlet workbench and it says you need a knowledge holder next to it okay and what do you put in the knowledge holder it can only hold knowledge okay so is that now uh is that the the that's the pale ones, isn't it? Yes. That's these, okay. All right, that's enough for now. I think you can craft these into... How do you know what patterns they are? Right, we don't want the matter booster. Inscriber. Researcher, Dimension Builder, Dimension Editor. So if we bring down, actually we can put that in the back. Dimension Builder, Dimension Editor. Right, that needs power. So does that. And that. But that doesn't, okay. Right, so if we set a flux plug into the wall and I want an energy cable. No, that's a plug. That's taking it out. We want a point. Oh man, my throat is really dry today. I think I've been talking too much, if that's ever possible. Uh, we want our net for flux configurator, so there's that. That's got power. If I bring up, uh, let's put down another one. Okay, so these are here. I don't know what that does. We'll see in a second. Okay, so we can make Dimlets. This is Dimlet Workbench. This is a knowledge holder. We can make knowledge. Can this hold the Dimlets as well? Researcher. What do you need to research? Editor and Builder. Okay. So this is what makes these cards here. So I'm guessing you can make dimlets, so you can combine dimlets to make whatever world you want. This is the knowledge. 
I'm beginning to sound like a taxi driver. For those of you who are not from the UK, um, the iconic black taxi drivers here, they have to go through a, I believe it's a seven year course where they learn um, all the streets in London. All right. And that is both central London and um, the areas outside of, as long as it's in the London area, if it comes under a London postcode, they have to learn all of those streets, right? They don't rely on a GPS because this they were, they were doing this before you had GPSs and sat navs and all that kind of stuff. They had to physically learn every single street and all what we call rat runs, which are like all the back roads that can get you round major roads and that kind of thing. And they call it the knowledge. And once you have that, you can become a taxi driver. And obviously not every not everybody who applies or who starts the course gets through it so there you go bit of bit of law for you right so um yeah put the knowledge in here i'm guessing you build your dimlets in here and you make one of these here okay all right let's start uh researcher a uh, knowledge holder can store any knowledge set this block adjacent to it no that's not that's this Ooh, that's the knowledge holder so it's not telling me anything about the researcher that's interesting but that needs power okay i don't know why this is half a slab because it's annoying it it doesn't well anyway Right, so we don't know what it's researching. All right, press shift. Uh, can be used in a knowledge holder to help create dimlets. And then this one, dimlet workbench. You need to create a dimlet. You need, to, you need knowledge to be able to make a dimlet. Okay, and what's this? That's the inscriber. Using the inscriber, you can combine various dimlets into a realized dimension tab. That tab can then give you, you that tab you can then give to the dimension builder. Okay, so all the dimlets that we have, yes, that's what I wanted. All right, um, okay. So, oh, is that? So those things, at the bottom it's showing what you need so for example dimlet digit dimlets have no effect they can help make unique dimensions okay that's not a biome dimlet okay so if we wanted to make 10c 10m t1 i don't know um all right, so it has that lightning thing. It has a circuit. It's got dimensional shards and whatever that is, it looks like it's rotating. All right, terrain dimlet. I'm guessing you need all these different things. Attribute, no oceans, no blobs, no bedrock, single, checker, default, the end. So these are all biome dimlets. These are all blocks. Okay, so if I wanted to make something, that's what I would want. So if I, I'm guessing if I wanted a world full of bonded rabbit hide, I would make that. I would use that. Okay, blocks of iron, bricks, brown concrete, marble, pumpkin. Ah, so that means then I might not be able to make a world full of draconic ore. All right, let's have a, the biome ones. No, the block ones are these ones. Oh, but you could. I'm guessing. Okay. All right, let me go and let me bring across, let me put everything into the system. 
or bring across everything. Actually, let me bring everything across over here and then we can have a look. Okay, I've brought everything across. I've taken all the knowledge and I've put them in here. Um, if you look in JEI and look at the recipes, oh, you can make legendary. How can you make legendary? Don't know how you make it. I oh, know. Nine rare gives you legendary. Okay, let's make. All right, let's make. Let's see what we can. If I do. To. Oh no, this is not. Yeah, shift it. One, two, three. All right, let's take a stack of. Let's take a stack and let's compress it down and let's see what we can get. How many legendary? Because I'm guessing if we can make draconic ore, it would be legendary. Lost, rare, and we have some rare that gives us two legendary. Okay, we could get three probably okay that's awesome we probably could have gotten more but you know and this doesn't uh you can't shift stuff so that you can um filter it sort it all right so we've got that use in a knowledge so how do you create a pattern uncommon common Let's get those. Use in a knowledge holder there. And this, a dim lit workbench. Hmm. All. Ah. Oh, this. Oh, this shows you everything. Okay, so blue tone. Oh, it's. And it's in. Um, biolo biological. No, it's. Alphabetical order. Uh, diorite? No. Was it di draconium? Dried kelp? Block of emerald? It's not quite alphabetical order. Uh, nether bricks, mycelium, block of netherite. Oh, is it alphabetical in terms of the whatever it is? So you have block of quartz, but it's not it's not going under block, it's going under quartz. Which Okay. Shroom light smithing world full of smithing tables, okay. Okay, so I didn't see um draconium. There's a world of dry ice. Though so these are not I'm not quite sure. Void stone. Can we search? That went. Hold on. Yes, you can search. Drag. No, we can't do a world full of draconium, which is a shame. All right, emerald. Okay, let's see if we can do a block of emerald. So what are these things? Um, researcher. What do you research? Do you research these? Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's why it's half a block. Because it needed room for the the animation. Okay, so it just tells you common feature, but we don't know what the common feature is. All right, let's put you in and let's see what happens. All right, so we need a a, a biome. And the other dimlets go in there. Or is this is that what it contains? Right, let's see something. Um, is that what it needs or is that what it contains? Dimension editor. Can I put that in there? No. Can this go in the knowledge bit? No. Can that go? Oh, that can go in there. Oh, does it? Has it split itself into four? Well, there's four. There's four things in the bottom. Is that what? Is that it's um like it's um it's key components. Okay, um, 
terrain terrain no I don't I don't know all right so end stone bricks if I use one of those a digit I think that helps with something well obviously it helps with something hollow spheres and if we take one of each time normal time oh can it go faster or slower what's this no oceans no bedrock let's try no oceans dark prismarine and stone brick bricks all right let's try that that doesn't go in there either all right this is yeah i'm not sure what i'm missing i tried i think <laughs> All right, hold on, Inscriber. Using combine various dimlets into a realized dimension tab. Okay. Um. So then, if we put nope. Why is that giving me an error? Attributes should come before terrain. Okay, so attribute. Attrib dangling attributes. Attributes should come before a terrain. All right, there's the attribute. Where's the terrain? Come before it. That's in front. Okay. Oh, um. All right, if we take those two out, isn't that a terrain? Oh, no, these are all blocks. Um, terrain. Flat or void. Okay. So we want a flat terrain. Uh, inscriber. All right. So I thought I took flat. That's flat. That's void. Okay. They both. Oh, I put it in the wrong bit. That's why. Right, so um, attribute should come before the terrain. There's a terrain. And then um, digit, I think for random. We want hollow spheres and stone bricks. Nope, why is that an error? Block should come before a terrain or a feature. Okay, let's put the terrain on the end. All right, so we say that we want no oceans. You want end stone bricks. Digit, not sure what it does. Press shift. They can make unique. Okay. Um, feature, we want hollow spheres. Use this dimlet in a dimlet inscriber to create a dimension tab. Okay, so we could take that out. No, this is the inscriber, isn't it? There you go. I'm being silly now. And we have the terrain. Can we put these things in here? No. Pattern, common block, reason, cash a lot, whale breakables. What? All right, can I I can't put any of these in here. But how can I com how can I turn that lost knowledge into something? Can I create? No. Oh, what's that? Don't know. We have a wandering trader somewhere, but I not. Okay, extract. No. Store. We need to make one of these things. How do we make one of those? Um. An empty dimension tab. Okay, we have we have those, and you put this in the inscriber. A dimension name is needed. Um, let's call this. Might help you turn off caps. Shay underscore test. And store. Okay. So we have Shay test. It's flat and has hollow spheres. It cost 
120 RF per tick. It maintains 100 RF per tick and the tick cost is 171 ticks. Makes no sense to me, but... Okay, so Dimension Editor. Oh, so I guess if we had a dimension, we can take it apart with that. The Dimension Builder. So that's building our dimension. Okay. That's pretty fast. Okay, so I do we take it out? Our dimension is ready. Okay. Um all right, so I need to make the other bits that I didn't think I needed to make yet. Where is... Where'd I put all my stuff? Oh, in my backpack. Um, okay, matter receiver. Matter transmitter. Matter booster. Um, we needed a dialing device. Did I not make a dialing device? I don't think I did. Okay, so... The, um, the dimension build. Do we need one of these? Hold on. Um, it takes a realized dimension and creates a dimension from it. If it's ready, it will maintain the dimension. Um, give it power. Okay. Press shift. Uh, you can dial up a near nearby matter transmitter. Destination analyzer. What's a destination analyzer? Okay. Um, is there no... Um, there's no recipe for it? I guess we don't need it then. Okay. Okay, um, you can place this block anywhere in a world and then you can dial to it using a dialing device. Before teleporting, make sure to give it power. Okay, and um, you can dial to it. Okay, so you don't, so the destination analyzer isn't needed really. You can use it to, to make sure the destination status. And a matter booster next to it. Okay, we have that somewhere. There's the matter booster. Okay, so dialing device. You can dial up any nearby transmitter and it requires power. All right, so if I set this up here, uh, where is that's a plug? Where's my points? Um, I've lost. That's what I want. Okay, so that's their dialing device. Oh, that is in here, isn't it? Okay, so we need a transmitter and a receiver. Um, transmitter, send out and to come back in. All right, so call this home transmitter okay so if I want to go here there was something about the smart wrench um, right click on the air to change mode focus wrench focus what does the focus do right so destination if I want to go to home I want to go there Okay, the dial is okay. Oh, you don't need the thing because it says it's okay. But I want to be able to come back. If I want to be able to come back, uh, matter receiver. If I want to be able to come back, I need a transmitter. Um, what do you call it? All right. All right, I have points with me. Now, I remember them saying dial to Shea test. Mode focus block not selected. Oh no, 
that one. Um, to use as a block selector, sneak right click and right click to select the master block. So sneak. Um, no, block not selected. I don't know what that. Right, so if I want to get back, how do I? That's the other thing. How do I know? How can I get the root, the coordinates? Come back. Manual. Okay. When that's what I should have done in the first place. With the dialing device, you can link a matter transmitter with a matter receiver. Note that the transmitter has to be nearby, but the receiver can be very far away. To dial, you must have a matter transmitter. And then there is, um, okay, after that. All right, so when I get out to the dimension, how do I get back? The receiver, we have receiver, no, we have transmitters. We need receivers as well. All right, I. the thing is, I don't want to go and, and, and put this down and then I have no way to get back. What just hit me? I don't know what just hit me. Right, um, because I remember they were saying, well, you know, dial two. All right, let me just double check that and come back because the video that I watched, they were very emphatic. You have to make sure you have a way of getting back and there's no way stones or anything like that. And they said, hold on a second. Okay, right. Um, I needed something called a charge porter. I'm n this allows me to come back home. I think, but basically this is uh, if I can't get, I guess if I didn't have a receive uh, a transmitter, then I would um I would have to use the porter. I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. Let's go. All right, so I need to stand on it. Oh, wow. All right, so that's the receiver. That's Shea test. Okay. Let's bookmark this. Add waypoint. And we have access to endstone bricks. I haven't had. Okay, there's things. They can kill us. First of all, we need to be able to get back. So if we put transmitter and a point right that's there um shay test no let's call it shay test 2 so we know which one it is all right, so that comes in, this comes out. What's this on the ground? Don't know. So we've got, it's a super flat world. Is that a shipwreck? That's a shipwreck. Is there anything in this though? There is. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Let's have a, a look around. We've got... Okay, so... Oh, ooh. I think we put that we didn't want water, right? And then all of these rooms, they have dimlets. Oh, this is really quite cool. And then endstone bricks. I don't know if we can turn this back into endstone. Um, what is that that's burning? Something on fire? I think something dropped into it and burst into flames. 
Uh, tinted, rotten flesh, coal, po potion of regeneration. Okay, so you have mobs in here. Okay, this isn't too bad. This, what was this? This is actually quite fun. Is this pris? No, this is this is sky slime dirt. Oh, that is actually quite cool. I'm not going to go around too far because basically we've got lots of spheres with, I guess they're mob generators. <laughs> okay, there's nothing much in here apart from that thing, whatever that thing is. Um, where is my Qatar? Let's go down a little bit. Can we see what you are before we kill you? No. He didn't drop anything. He gave me weakness, hunger, and night vision. No, not night vision. I had night vision. It gave me weakness and hunger. But I don't know what you were. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's the RF tools thing. Now that we've actually done it, it's a bit underwhelming. We could try making another dimension. We'll just... Oh, we've got a couple of zombies. Oh, it's a couple of drowned. Yeah, what else can we find? This is a super flat world, I think. Um, Pink sand, pink sand. I think originally these had... I think I mentioned it before. They had, like, tons of EMC. One of them did. But okay... Right, let's go home. Actually, do we need to go back to the... Pretty sure we can use this. Oh, I only need to do it once. But I'm back. Okay, so what's on here now? Home receiver. J test, overworld. Okay. Okay. That's... That was interesting. So we can put the end stone, end stone bricks. Can I get anything out of this though? Have a look. Uh, redstone furnace. Gives me cracked end stone bricks. Can I get like normal end stone out of them? Stone cutter. Chiseled. No, it's only going to give me the bricks variant. Okay. Well, that was a kind of very derpy basic kind of what on earth are we doing i still don't know a hundred percent what we are doing but you know it would legendary lost knowledge what does did i try putting that in there i think i did but um yeah, I think I kind of have an idea. I'll have to play with this. I would definitely have to play with this to see what's going on with it. But it's... Oh, did I get Suspicious Stew from somewhere? Oh, probably from one of the common dimensional essence. What do you use that for? Okay, my computer froze on me and then I have no idea what I, what I lost. Press shift, common feature, oh, storage blocks. Okay. No, that's not, I want this. I can put that. I don't know. I'll have to play with it. But yeah, that is, like I said, that is like the very basic derpy kind of, I don't know what I'm doing, but I made a dimension by trial and error and we went out to the dimension we had a look and we came back where is the wandering trader oh he's there hello sir were you watch were you watching me this entire time you don't have to look so cross trade offer oh it's one of the bad guys so he tells you what he has 
but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're going to get. But let, let, let's just see. Let's finish off by seeing what this guy can give me. He's gone. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, one emerald. Okay. That's okay. A red merchant. I thought he was one of the bad guys that you buy something and he just gives you suspicious stew or something. Right, so anyway, um, he knew we were trying to finish. That's That's what happened. Um, yeah, so we made a dimension. I'm going to have to play around with it and see if I can get any usable dimensions and then mine it. Oh, we could put a miner out there and then just get all the blocks. So that's, that's going to be my, that's going to be my homework to make a, um, an emerald dimension and to get all the blocks and make all the EMC. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Well, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.